Yo, what is up, guys? It's your boy, Lieutenant S. Fish, or S. Fish FFA, and today I'm going to be telling a story. This story is about the time my friend and I encountered a guy. Well, technically, just me. My friend saw the aftermath, but this guy basically got arrested. But before I get into it, use code S. Fish for 5% off, activate graphics, and also, that's pretty much it. But one day, I decided to go, me and my friend were going to meet up at the mall right next to my house, and we didn't end up doing this. Before we did this, I decided to go there early, just because I live a little bit farther than him, so he could leave after me completely and still get there by the time i get there but this for some reason i left completely earlier than i should have and i ended up encountering someone really weird so one day i was just chilling and i would just went to this i just went to a couple stores and yeah me and my friends ended up encountering encountering a savage police officer so basically we were well technically me Okay, so basically there's a store, and this store is really sketchy because it's really easy to steal out of. Just because I've seen a lot of people do it before, and I know, like, the ways to do it. I've never done it before, though. But my, but basically, there's it's like a store, but you can come in either through the mall, and there's two other entries into the side. So it's like a part of the mall, except, like, it's back, so there's two other exits. And it's really weird and just really uncomfortable. It's like really weird and really trippy, but it's it's pretty cool. It's a pretty good store, and they sell a lot of electronic stuff. That's pretty. That's where I got the laptop I'm using now, and yeah, it's really cool though. But I don't know. I forgot what it's. I forgot what the store called. But even if I did, I, even if I remembered, I really couldn't say anything because I, because it's um, I forgot because it's really close to my house, like literally five minutes away. So even if I told you guys, so if I told you guys, you basically know where I lived. But I decided to go there early, and I decided to go stop by the store, even though there was um security already going towards the store i decided just to ignore it. like they're probably not even going to the store i'm probably just being retarded so what i did is i ended up just going over there and about 20 minutes of me being in the store because it's a pretty big store we were, i was looking around and there was this one guy and there was this one guy and he was being really retar retarded he was taking like the laptop keyboard and he was trying to like stab the um keyboard with his key and i have no idea what he was trying to do i think he was trying to be funny with his friends it was being like really weird and just like messing around in the store which i mean i don't care if you do i don't really care what you do except use code as for five percent off after the graphics oh my gosh i have to fit that in there didn't i but i just have to like but this guy was just basically being really stupid and i don't advise doing this especially at this store because this is the same mall where paul blart works at and yeah i just didn't but I just walked away completely. But I didn't walk far enough because I'm pretty sure they noticed me walk away. And they definitely followed me. Yeah, they followed me for like five minutes before they actually did something. They took the laptop, and I don't know what this guy was on. This guy literally took the laptop and just smashed it. Like, he took a random Razer laptop. The laptop that I use now, the same type, but not the same exact one. He takes it, and he just straight smashes it on the floor. And the actual, like, laptop screen comes out. And Paul Blart, like, the store manager calls Paul Blart and the police. And this person straight blames me, like, oh, that kid tripped me. It was a complete accident. I'm sorry. Like, the kid did it. Like, he completely tripped me. Like, check the cameras, check the cameras. And I was like, bro, really? Like, I didn't even do anything. His friends were just looking at him like, this kid is stupid. He blamed the little kid. Because at the time, I was like, I'm still, I was 11. I just turned 12 the last Saturday. So, yeah, I was pretty young. And I don't know why I'm saying it like it was 200 years ago. It was literally two. It was literally like a, a month ago. So it's pretty much a recent story. But I basically get blamed, and they're like, "Hey, you're gonna have to pay for that." But the guy, but I was like, even even if I did trip him, it was the guy who tri did it. And he's like, "So you're saying you did trip him?" And I said, "No, I didn't trip him." But even if I did trip him, he would still have to pay for it because he's the one who took it out of the display. And he was like, "No, I didn't. Check the dis check the cameras." And they and they called the security and they called the um police and the police. Pelos. The police literally had to come in there with security and give me a lecture. And halfway, and like, before, when they started giving a lecture, I was like, don't talk to me. Check the cameras if you check the cameras. And they're like, are you giving me attitude? And I was like, yeah, you're giving me attitude. You're saying I basically broke a laptop that's really expensive that I know better to do and I didn't do this at all. And he's like, oh, you're going to be banned from the mall. And I knew he that he couldn't do this just because he was a security guard, not the police officer. The police officer was just looking at Paul Blart like, this guy is legit crazy. But the person who ended up trying to do it, I said, go, they ended up checking the cameras, and then they were like, I am so sorry, you know, you can have something free. I ended up getting, like, a free, like, computer mouse, and it's, like, a really fancy one. It has, like, the buttons on the side. That's what I used to, like, edit with. And this guy, they, when they checked the cameras, they came out and said, it was you. This guy runs through, like, the second door, and the police officer, hurry up, hauls, like, he just runs over to the other exit, not the one into the mall. 
and just like tries to tackle him. But this guy does like a full 180 and tries to sprint out the other door. And as he sprints out the other door, Paul Blart comes out of nowhere with the game winning tackle and he knocked him to the ground and basically said, What's your name? What's your number? You're gonna pay for this. Stop blaming little kids and this little you're lucky this little kid didn't do anything because we would be smart enough to turn our backs and leave you in a room with him for a few minutes. Sorry, my phone just went off. And I was like, Oh, these guys are so cool. But he's then he's then the guy was like, No, no, he tripped me. We he said, We saw the camera, you did it, you're paying for it. And whatever you and you're paying for this little kid's new mouse, and I was like, oh man, they're gonna make him pay for it. And I, thanks. And they and then I basically walked away, and this guy got arrested. I'm pretty sure. I saw him in a cop car, and he gave me like the dirtiest look. And his friends just darted when he first did it. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and as always, stay sour. Peace.